In southern Kenya, a Maasai herdsman takes his cattle out for grazing. In 1982, Tongei Olerin Paine lost almost 700 cows to drought and disease carried by tsetse flies. Today, he has replenished his herd to 130. The Maasai community and the Africa-based International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology, known as ISIPE, are controlling the tsetse flies with traps baited with non-chemical attractants. Helen Oyeke is a farmer in Western Kenya. Her fields are often attacked by menacing insects. Since 1986, Helen has been a participant in integrated pest management research conducted by ISIPE. Together, farmers like Helen and ISIPE scientists are developing low-cost agricultural techniques to control pests without chemical pesticides. ISIPE was founded in Kenya over 20 years ago by Kenyan entomologist Professor Thomas R. Odiambo who recognized a need for scientific research about insect pests in the tropics and especially in Africa. ISIPE has grown since then into an international research institution employing 45 senior scientists and 54 graduate and postdoctoral students with research stations in Africa and the Philippines. Overuse of chemical pesticides in the developing world has led to resistant insect species and also threatened the health of humans and the environment. Through sophisticated scientific research, ISIPE has developed ways to control and understand pests without using chemical pesticides. ISIPE designed solutions affordable and acceptable to small-scale farmers and cattle herders in the developing world. Herders like Tongei Olerimpaine and farmers like Helen Oyeke. In southern Kenya, the livelihood of the Maasai people depends on their cattle herds. They graze their cows on semi-arid land, moving their homes to follow the best grasses. Even in this dry terrain, there are thickets of vegetation which attract tsetse flies. Dangerous tsetse flies which mean death to the Maasai's precious cattle. In 1982, drought and tsetse fly disease, trypanosomiasis, killed thousands of cows the Maasai's very way of living was threatened. Their cattle provide food, cement for their houses, insurance against hard times, and measure of family's wealth. I used to have 670 cows, and then all but seven of them died. Now, I have 137 cows. Actually, we Maasai people have always worked with cattle. If I didn't have any cattle, you wouldn't see me living like this in my home with all my wives. In 1985, ISIPE scientists started a research program to reduce numbers of tsetse flies in the Maasai's grazing area. Their goal was to develop an affordable tsetse fly trap in a program which would involve the Maasai community. Eventually, ISIPE would turn over the entire tsetse control operation to the community. At ISIPE's laboratory in Nairobi, scientists designed a tsetse trap. The flies are attracted by the royal blue color of the trap exterior and are then attracted by a target upwards into a plastic bag at the top. The trapped flies die from heat. 
no insecticide is used. Since tsetse find their hosts naturally by both sight and smell, traps are baited with bull urine. Scientists in Nairobi test other odors like bull breath or sweat to discover the most effective way of attracting tsetse. Scientists observe the flight of tsetse toward an order bait in a wind tunnel to determine which order is most attractive. Since 1985, over 200 traps have been placed in the Maasai grazing area. A team of six Maasai Morans, young men trained to be warriors, maintain the traps and help Isipe scientists conduct field experiments. Young boys collect bull urine to place near the traps. Older Maasai men build the traps. The Tetsi population has been reduced by over 90%. The cows are healthy and plentiful. We had a lot of Tetsi disease before Isipe came. Since Isipe came, we still have Tetsi disease, but the problems are reduced. We used to use a lot of drugs to treat Tetsi disease, but now we are buying much less. Sometimes during the dry season, we have to go up on the escarpment where there is no setsi control and they get the disease. But if the cattle stay down in the trap area, they don't get sick. We Maasai don't save money in the bank. We save cows. It's just like money in the bank because if we need money, we just pick a cow and sell it. I don't have many cows now, but not because of Setsi, but because I have to pay many school fees this year. I have a child in high school, and it is very expensive. In addition, I have seven more children in elementary school. Isipe is working to turn over Setsi control to the community. Researchers disseminate information through the community elders. Isipe invites them to the research center to demonstrate how the traps work and why it is important to maintain them. We will try. Isipe taught us how to maintain and build traps, so we will try. If the community will agree to put their money together to buy traps, we will do it. Building the traps is not expensive because we can make it ourselves. The cost is only the materials, which aren't expensive. I learned how to make traps without being paid because I wanted to learn how to make them. These are our cows. They don't belong to Isipe. So I agreed to make these traps without pay. The profit is ours, not Isipe's. We are hoping that the children who are in school now can return home and learn from Isipe how to control Setsi. Maybe some of our children in school will even become entomologists. Thank you.